Hiya everyone. Just thought I'd pop up and say hi. It's been a while since I've done a video, mostly because I moved house right before Christmas and I've been super busy moving house and then getting the new house sorted out on my sewing area. I've literally done a bit of a tidy up and the sort out again today. I was thinking about what I'm going to do next with this page and our current social distancing situation we have with the coronavirus and I thought that I would share more information with you guys especially for those who are learning to sew or just getting started or wanting to venture out into new things let me know what you want me to make and I'll show you how to make it I don't mind doing anything and everything um, yesterday I made a cape, a Red Riding Hood cape, because I had the patterns out there for ages, I had the fabric in my stash and I thought, do you know what, now's the time to just crack on and do these things and do a bit of selfish sewing and we can make quilts, we can make cushions, we could we do up houses with our upholstery, we could teach the kids to sew, loads of options. So I thought I would come on and have a chat with you, feel free to message me with anything you'd like me to do to show you. And we can have fun sewing together during this period of social distancing and probably for some self-isolation, which is horrible for people. I can't imagine how boring that must be. So let's sew, let's craft, let's knit, let's crochet, anything you want to do. So particularly for me, sewing is the thing that I absolutely love. So I will show you whatever you want me to show you. If you're in Cornwall and you're in the St Austell area, I've had a chat with Rachel who owns Sew and Fabric and she's happy. Um, if you if you don't know of her shop and her page, check her page out. She's done a post recently in the last couple of days about what's going on currently and how she's willing to she does postage anyway, you can buy online, but she's looking at the potential of being able to deliver to people who need it delivered and stuff, or having packages ready for people who feel a bit apprehensive about going into town. You could literally like whip the door and pay and kind of go again. She needs to be contacted personally about what she's willing to offer. But I was thinking, as a bit of an enhancement to that, if you wanted to learn something specific, that was a big pause, such as, I don't know, making leggings. Me and Rachel are happy to work together that Rachel will package up and bundle everything you need to make a pair of leggings. And then I will do a tutorial and show you how to make them. So they could use this period of time to learn something new or enhance your skills. So say, for example, we go for that one. She's happy to provide you with a pattern. We, we have a free pattern that we're happy to help people access. She will help you work out how much fabric you need. I can show you that on the video as well. So then you can just order the fabric from her that you need. And she's happy to make that into a little bundle with elastic and everything else, all the notions that you would need in order to make that. So rather than going into sewing fabric and doing an actual workshop we can do it virtually online and you still have the same service perfect we had a lady pop in today right well rachel messaged me and the lady was asking about cloth nappies there's a bit of a nappy shortage and people are looking at how they can help themselves be able to access these things without relying on supermarkets which are going crazy at the moment i'm happy to do a cloth nappy tutorial so i'm going to do that over the weekend i'll do a video i'll do it step by step each video i'll download as i go and then you you guys can watch it and learn how to make them so i will do a video on what you need what's the best to buy um rachel stocks mostly that's where i get all my items from is from her what sort of elastics best um anything i can do i'll help people do anything i'm quite excited about this actually i'm a little bit made for self social distancing because i can seriously sit at home work with my children on their schoolwork, and so i'm happy so we're gonna look at doing that um i can make cloth sanitary pads we can look at makeup wipes dolls teddy bears um i have a limited range of quilting but i know how to do the basics I can show you how I make clothing for myself and for my children, anything. I think this is like the ideal time that we can have fun and, and indulge in our craft and without the guilt of like, oh, I should be at work or when well, not you would take time off work, but you know, I could be doing work or doing the school run. We're not doing any of that now. We're all going to be at home so we can sew to our heart's content. 
younger people, if you want to learn how to sew or you want to teach your children how to sew, please get in touch. I can help with like cushions, we could do reading cushions, basics for them to learn how to do sewing. Also, do you remember we used to do those squares? And you used to do a little like cross stitch pattern and then all different stitches in the squares or the A me around. We could do them. They were, I used to love making them when I was little. They're really good fun. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you right now, that I'm going to be doing a lot more videos and kind of over this period of uncertainty with moving house. We had a bereavement in the family as well. So that's all kind of settled down now. I'm back to sewing in a proper big way. Um, I've got my luster for it back and I'm going to be making a few more videos. So if you've got any suggestions on things that you'd like me to make, please, please, please give me a shout. If you want to get involved with learning how to make specific items and you'd like to access Rachel at Sewing Fabric, feel free to message her. She'll get a hold of me as well if it's anything that we um that we can work out between us. Yes, exciting times in <laughs> this is my positive spin on what's happening at the minute. It is very scary and I do take it very seriously, but for me as a mum who likes to make things at home, I'm quite happy to have this period of, of solitude that I can do that. But I thought I'd share it with you guys through the lovely media. Social media is a wonderful thing for this kind of situation. We can all keep in touch with each other through the medium of YouTube and Facebook and all that. So I'm going to leave that here because I'm going to go and get dinner off the stove and feed my children so I can then look at the patterns for the cloths nappies and probably start that one please get in touch please subscribe please share my page please turn on notifications so you can see what i'm, I'm going to be making i've got lots of lovely new patterns so i can look at making lots of things really and hope that the social distancing work and we don't get hit by the virus because that could change things fingers crossed Anyway, speak to you all soon. Have a lovely evening. If you have any ideas, do give me a shout. Bye.